my gosh, guys. It's still here. It's still split right down the middle of it, so we yeah. see what's inside it. Oh, I do. Oh. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Prime in progress. Oh, I've been running from the law. First throw, baby. Say it, everyone. This is a first for me. This is a first. Welcome back, Badgers, to another episode of Badger Exploration. In this episode, we're going fossil hunting in this million-year-old creek on the face of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Come along for the ride. This tunnel here goes back over two miles to the coastline of the Green Bay itself, and we're going to walk it and see what treasures and relics and fossils we can uncover. We found things from arrowheads, ancient Native American relics, to 300 million-year-old fossils, and I've even found a couple squid fossils. Link will be in the description. That being said, guys, let's go meet up with AU guys. As you can see, there's tons of glacial deposits here. Lots of sandstone. And uh, what I'm walking on currently here was the bed of the ocean. This was the ocean sea floor right here. There's going to be a section further up that you're going to understand what I'm talking about a little bit more. Here you guys go. First little bit of example of what's to come. See all those fossils just chilling in there. That is cool. Oh, guys. That's true. But the makeup that it's it's got in it, it's primarily the sandstone and lighter rock material it, it's not conducive of like the heavy material that you would expect while prospecting yeah now this is one, one thing that's interesting about this spot just like you said the clays there's not that sediments you're not going to find like all the the black sands here but i know one thing that's kind of neat is i just picked this up off the ground at the head of this river there i'll show you on our way out guys there's an actual bottle dump in the side of the shore where all the dirt actually is to the right piled up that dirt didn't used to be there. In the 1800s, they filled it all in and we're gonna to try to fill this area in and then they stopped, of course, realizing the natural beauty of it. But this is a pretty thick old piece of beach glass, pretty worn down here. So it's kind of a cool find. Yeah, it is. And still split right down the middle of it, so we yeah. can see what's inside it. Is there any? No, nope, it of bugs. look like it. Hmm. But it would be a good spot to look on some of these. You that is very true. And... Those fracture lines. You know, it is possible to find an ammonite. I know, that's, that's, that's why I wanted to look, because it's split so much. Yeah, I agree. It is, uh, some, that is one of the things I have not found here yet, is an ammonite. Right as you called me over, Charlie, I saw something. I was like, oh, that's super cool. Wait, go back for it, Elijah. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Is this it? Ah, oh, no, never mind. Thought it was a cracked open section of a geode, so, like, some organic matter when it, it got stuck here in this seabed here, and everything started to fossilize and get coated, it can generate this, like, Weird, it looks like a, a Morpheus little bubbly ball. The next time we find one, I'll, I'll kind of insert it here, but it had, remember we crack it open and it have a bunch of little crystallizing and basically it's like a tiny geode. All right, badgers, we got some here. Look at that, it's a little fossil. Give me that empty water bottle, we'll get that trash out of here. Oh, you know it. Heck yeah, some treasure trash, baby. Oh, no way, guys. Literally. Here's a section of the geodes I was talking about, everyone. Oh yeah, Charlie, here, I'll show you. Good call, way to, way to say, uh, say that, Charlie. Pick up that water bottle, you yeah, get a so reward. Get the trash out of there. Yeah, look at that. Those are cool. Yeah, that's yours, Charlie. I found a few here. You can have the first one for sure. Piece of horn coral sticking out. A little, little bit of the tip there, the point of the horn coral. That's neat. Sure. We're finally getting to our section, everyone, where this ledge here drops down. And it is absolutely perfect for revealing fossils. But there's something just around that corner that, if you've been watching my videos for the past couple of years, you might recognize it. Oh man, so many layers. Oh my gosh, guys, it's still here. The washed out ATV, guys, the Kawasaki. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe guys that this is here. I reported this, called the police. 
even offered to do a cleanup and no one ever got back to me. No one seemed to really care. So here she lays over a year later. Alrighty. What is this? Oh, shoot. The brake. <laughs> That's neat. Okay. It's probably to this. Oh, yeah. Look, it's missing it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Hey, guys. <sighs> Charlie's back there by the ATV. Our plan now is, guys, uh, kind of going to scout out down the river this way. See if we can't spot an eye. Some cool, oh, oh, some cool fossils. Like this beautiful chunk of coral here. Look at that fossilized coral. Wow, guys. Oh, let me get you a better angle. There's a better angle for you guys. Look at that. Oh, man. Huh. Little dots on that. Those polish up so cool on the lapidary. Oh, any other stuff? A little, little edge of a fossil, but that is cool. Of course, it's got to be giant. <laughs> This is super neat, guys. All right, I wish it had it in it, but of course, it's not gonna be that easy. But right here, this is the imprint of one of the uh, pencil squids, the squid uh, fossils that are so coveted at this location. That would've been a cool little slender one. I have found a partial one that would've been a massive one. It was probably close to eight inches and about two and a half to three inches in diameter. So this one would've been a nice slender one and uh, probably would've been intact an, an more than, uh, than the other one, but this is, wow. Cool. Alright guys, what's up? Gotta get nice and low, baby, to find them pretty little fossils. Just like this guy here, washed out in a chance. Alright Badger, so the plan is to find a bunch of fossils. We'll show you what we find. We already have this epic piece of coral from the seafloor here. I'm hoping we can find some squid and some uh, more horn coral pieces and, you know, we'll take you along for the ride thing. Ooh, big old frog. Throughout the video, if you guys spot any fossils that I may have missed, comment down below where are and uh, the time that you saw it. Whoever spots uh, something that they think is really worthwhile and I should have grabbed, I will go back, try to find it, and send it out to you. Alrighty, gang. Going to my handy dandy buck pack here. Big chisel or a uh, smaller one? Um, I'll take a bigger one for right now. Like I said, I'm trying to split a slab. Oh, bats. Here, you want to hold this in the thumb again? I'm ready. I have my star and I have the side flies. Let me take this one. one here. But I'm going to grab the hand, man. I also think not too long here, we should also take a safety meeting. I agree. It's important to stay safe. Yes, extremely important. Yes. Badger Especially approved. when working with metal things and hammers. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. Thanks, buddy. All right. Let's see what he's chipping at. That's really weird. I wonder if that's like an, a fossilized, uh, and maybe it's not a fossil, but I think this might be a fossilized, what do you call them? Stick to the side of boats, like, uh, hmm. comment down below, because my brain is not working. Come on, brain, brain. Well, scallop, maybe? Is that what I mean? I don't know if that's a sand dollar. Maybe it is. Holy cow. That's, that's like a big fossilized one. sand dollar. It does. I have to come down and chisel that, cu chisel that guy out, too. Oh, wow, look at that. I bet you there was a bunch of horn corals in there, and then he wrote it out of that. Those are little shaped. Yeah, it could be an artifact too. My first assumption when I was talking to, the, to everyone in the video, I was thinking that it might actually be uh, the imprint from one of the pencil squids. That could be too. Because I've seen a lot of things like that here and I have pulled out different stuff. Like I have a, a pestle from a pestle and mortar that was made by a Native American that I found in here. And uh, yeah, to me, it almost looks like a grinding stone yeah, where like you would like mill, mill uh, wild oh. seeds. Speaking of stones, is this a, uh, oh no, it's not. Thought it might have been a, like uh, the one I found with us prospecting a few weeks back. The uh, Native American fire starting stone at the top of a bow, a bow fire. Cool wire wrapped. That's exactly what I was thinking. My girlfriend has been doing those and I was thinking maybe make a medallion for Miss Fox. 
Look at this really neat wire wrap one, guys. All right, now the goal is Charlie saw that and he's like, you keeping that, bud? I'm like, oh, you know it, man. We find things and we keep them, but I'm also a given guy. So now I'm gonna be hunting for Charlie so he can find a cool pendant one like this for his, uh, his better half as they Oh, I just spotted this, guys. I think this is for like sturgeon spearing. Old spear tip here, look at that. Look at the barbs on that. Thing. I know, this thing's actually kind of old, I think. That's kind of cool. We're on a new ch new uncharted section of this river. I've uh, never walked this far, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Badgers, Charlie just found something. We think it might be an ammonite. Yeah, check this out. Oh, look at that. It's in, in the right shape. It's pretty heavy. I tried to chip some of it off and it looks like there's something on the inside there. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, I got a little chisel at home that's attached to the Dremel. We'll get it picked off clean and we'll take a look at it and see if there's anything actually in here, but it's gonna come home with me. Heck yeah, you're not gonna try to just break it open now? No, because I don't wanna risk damaging it. Yeah, especially with how here. brittle this. Alrighty. We've settled in here, this funky little spot. I'm gonna try to chisel off all this excess material. It's not actually dark here, it's just this helps me see a bit, just a little bit better. Mmm, goopy. That's the right, lock it in. clean break. Got most of it off. Heck yeah, guys. You guys like this little guy? I actually hand forged this myself in the forge. <laughs> so there she is. Another one of these little uh, fossilized little sponge coral nodulars. That's two really nice ones today, guys. Heck yeah. I got that all broken up. We walked down a little ways. It's pretty awesome, but we're gonna be kind of working through here and some of this debris and rubble. And I'm gonna see what kind of pops out underneath here, and uh, might even break out break out the sifter. I don't know the classifier there. Oh, we got another little guy here, batters. Oh, that's a tiny one. You can get you can get this view of that. This isn't an ad, but whenever I've been going, I have these little foraging packs here. I've been carrying around with me, whether I'm on the clock for Badger or not, I've been bringing it everywhere I go, and it has been a lifesaver. Speaking of lifesavers, this big old guy. Oh, kill layers and fossils, but look at this section. What looks to be like some of that coral stack them over there. They break, and a cool fossil pops out later. Right on. Ooh, I wonder if I could get this guy out. Right there. Maybe, let's try it. Got my little watching. My handmade archaeology hammer here. Slash trowel thing. I don't know. Just made something that I knew would work for the stuff that I'm usually out here, and I'll be like, oh man, if only I had a tool that worked this way. So the badger then goes home and creates thus tool. Actually, let's get you close. <laughs> No! And that's how you break a fossil. Oh wow. Oh that's awesome. Look at this guys. We have two little tiny little fossils. I notice if I look real close in here guys, it's right on top is where I'll find all sorts of little guys. Let's see if we can't get one more on here live with that. What you got going on over here, Charlie? <laughs> Making a culture for I like it a lot. <laughs> and there it goes. Oh, At least you caught it. <laughs> oh. oh, I wanted to get a picture after it was up, but. Don't worry, I'll get you a screen grab. Okay, Badger, so what I did here is kind of what I do 
in a lot of places to like slowly remove that sediment. So I, I kind of funneled all the water here coming through and now it cleans up a lot quicker. So hopefully here when I go through like this, Look how quick it cleans up now. <laughs> That's a pretty smart idea, bud. Thanks, man. I've been doing this for two years now. This is how I find all like that dime I found, that penny, and uh, that mercury dime. Similar system. And uh, yeah, and then I have this other tool called the Badger Fan, which is a big metal fan that I just beat against it, slowly moving the material off. No way, guys. Oh, uh, this is why I love that. This spot is great for the tinies. Look at that tiny, tiny little fossil here. It's, I'm not even sure what these are. If it's like an insect or some type of, maybe it's part of the coral or fossils. I know that it is a type of fossil. If you guys do know, help me identify this. Comment down below. Ooh, lifted that rock up. There lays a section one. Nice. Look at the one Charlie just found here. That's a real nice. Wow, dude. Heck yeah. That's going to be one for the for the wire wrapping. There you, go. there you go, bud. Back at her. I'm working in the shoreline here. Combing away. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a little tiny. Little section there. Oh, look at this, guys. I literally saw this. And I thought it was a spearhead. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I did find this cool little fossil piece, but not a spearhead. <laughs> oh, look at that one, everyone. That is a nice one. Really working up this section here. Looking real nice. Got it flowing pretty good, too. Oh, there we go, guys. Another epic fossil <laughs> when we find things, guys. Oh, that is so cool. That being said, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thank you for checking out the channel, and thank you for watching this fossil adventure. We appreciate you all coming along on this journey with us. I know uh, a, you guys and me have found a whole lot of things today that we're going to have to do some research and figure out what everything is. That being said, everyone, if you like these videos, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more of these videos and more videos with me and a, you guys behind the camera, Make sure to drop that comment down below and follow AU Guys Prospecting for more content. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Badger Exploration. You can find things. See you next week. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Badger Exploration. Oh, I've been running from the law.